Hello viewers, this is Cynthia Michael from Screen Reviews, bringing you a new podcast from my, uh, from my segment called The Board to Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cross any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast will retain your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will retain your adult language. If you're under 18, if you're over 18, then you good to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get into the latest episode of Board the episode 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 three uh, episode 103. This is episode 103. So basically, this this is going to be short. So basically, Board so basically, Borto was to Borto was free, was was to surrounded by to surrounded by both sides, but with a curse block, with a curse from Mister Mister Toski, he had a curse mark. He had a curse mark. Who had so basically, Borto was faced through in front of Borto. He had Mister Toski, who defected himself, who gave himself a curse mark. From Hugo, so basically, Mr. Toski went to give himself, give himself, give himself his own cross mark. Therefore, Borto was faced out, faced, was faced with a curse mark, Mr. Toski, and behind him he was, he behind him he was doing with a curse mark, and he was doing with Hugo that to fully transform into his curse mark form. So basically. So lucky for lucky for Borto, Jugo meant she got free and went right away and went right away before before he completely transformed. So basically, but Borto, so basically Jugo managed to break free and managed to get away from Borto and Mr. Toski and go and you know who you know and and go transfer to somewhere else from away to the British, but. Borto Borto went chasing after, after, but Borto and Mr. Toski went going chasing after, after you go. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Co- so meanwhile, Cohen, Sarada, Sarada, yeah, Namine, and and Wasabi was t- was trying to stop the was start was trying to stop the curse mark was trying to stop the curse mark geese birds from flying away. Once the sun once the before the sun set for the sunrise. So basically, so basically, Sarada and the others were trying to stop the those curse mark birds from flying away, flying away until they cured them, they cured them, but they had, but they had for the sun to rise to, to, to catch all the birds that were still affected by the curse mark. That uh, that Mr. Taki and that that uh, that Mr. Taki affected the bird witch. So anyway, so basically they had to sunrise to uh, you know to stop the birds that were that were still affected by the curse talk and whatnot. But but Coleman say that you know if we can't if we can't if we can't stop these birds from flying away before the sunrise, we all have to. Stop we don't have to kill all the birds. So, so basically, Corin say, Corin gave gave Sawada, Sawada a a bunch of paper bombs to to combine with her fireball juices to kill the birds as a last resort. So anyway, Jugo made his way to. And so basically, Jugo, Borto, and Mr. Tashi made his way and made it, you no, know, made his way and made their way to the, made their way to the lake where, where the curse mark birds were at and whatnot. So basically, Jugo completely transformed into his curse mark form and so did Mr. Toski. So when um, Borto tried to attack Mr. Toski, Mr. Toski was fully transformed into his curse mark form. So basically, so basically he ended up defeating Borto very easily. So basically, and Jugo, uh, and, and Jugo, and Jugo was fully, was fully into his curse mark form. So basically, Mr. 
cost here is like, you know, so basically this is the moment I've been waiting for. So basically, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat Hugo, and I'll be, once I beat Hugo, I'll be the, I'll be the toughest person with, with, with the, with the best curse mark ever. And not even Worthy Marvel can, can, can stop me, want to, can stop me. So basically, Mr. Topsky started to attack Hugo, Tries to attack Jugo, but but Jugo just just grabbed Mr. Toski and just started to beat the shit out of him. And it took two. It's like a. It was like a one minute there. So basically, Jugo didn't even get. Didn't even have, Mr. Toski didn't even put a fight. Jugo just hit, hit Jugo. I mean, Mr. Toski was just. After like 10 or 20 punches, you know, Mr. Toski was defeated by Jugo under like 10 seconds. After 20 punches. So basically, Jugo. Curse my Jugo beat. Mr. Toski and beat Mr. Toski on the 22nd and and uh, and dissolved his curse mark from Mr. and took and took away and took away and took away Mr. Toski's curse mark and therefore Mr. Toski transformed back to uh, back to human and he and you go and curse mark you go left Mr. Toski on the ground butt naked so basically you know, to Mr. Toski was like what the heck was 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 in a was pretty much pissed off that that he was easily defeated by Jugo even though he had a curse mark so basically like you know so basically Mr. Toshi Jugo just beat the shit out of top Mr. Toshi under 20 seconds you know, took took Mr. Toxie's curse mark, took took my, uh, you know, took Mr. Toxie's curse mark from his body and left Mr. Toxie laying laying on the ground, butt ass naked. So anyway, so anyway, Boruto, so basically, Boruto did got some help from 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 Suwada, Suwada, and the Ninbe to help. Help time to to help with Jugo. So basically, Boruto was like, you know, he had some, so basically, Boruto had an idea to to use Zanga to hit hit Jugo with his Zanga, forcing him forcing him to change back into his human form. So basically, so basically, with the help of Shirada and the Ninde, you know, Boruto managed to hit Jugo with the Zanga, but. It took a it took a moment for for the Zanga to it took a moment for Jugo to transfer back to his human form, but it's so basically both of plans did work, but it took it took a moment for Jugo to to transform back to his human form. So anyway, so anyway, with the help from so basically with the help from Sangetsu and, and with the help of Sangetsu and Nishiki and and Koama Sensei, they managed to get the antidote, managed to get the antidote, and Sangetsu used his water style Jutsu to make it rain, therefore spread the antidote and kill all the birds. So basically, Sangetsu used his water style Jutsu to to kill all the birds to, by making it rain and whatnot. So basically all the affected birds with curse mark are now cured are now cured. So basically everything was everything was A okay. So anyway so anyway, so anyway, later that afternoon, so basically, so basically, Tangashi using his water style juice to, to spread the cure to all the respected curse mark birds, you know, save the birds from being destroyed by, 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 by Shavada, by Shavada's fireball juice to and the paper mom. So anyway, so basically, after the birds were cured, you know, Komaha was sensei and, 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 and both on the others, 
st stuck around for, you know, stuck around to clean up the mess that, you know, <laughs> you know, to, you know, stick around to clean up the mess that, that, that unfold to, that was unfold to, from this whole curse mark outbreak thing. So basically, Cole Harvard, Sinte, both and others took around and cleaned up the mess while Jugo, Son Getsu, and, and Corrine went back to, went back to, went back to Orochimaru's lab and whatnot. So basically, both and others, you know, still stayed behind to clean up the mess that, that this whole curse mark being left behind and whatnot. And, and Corrine, Corrine, Jugo, and Son Getsu went, you know, headed back to Orochimaru's lab and the, the episode End it with Jugo looking at the sky and filling that swan, that white, that white swan that couldn't fly, <laughs> that white swan finally flying. So basically, this is how the episode ended with with, with Jugo Sangetsu and and Cohen headed back to Wilson Marvels and Jugo looking at the sky at that at the swan finally flying, flying, <laughs> and Jugo see the swan that, that was trying to fly. <laughs> This whole story arc, and you saw Vicky Chico was looking at the white swan. That was how the heart was having a problem with flying, finally flying above his head, head above his head, and this is how the episode. And this is how the episode ended. So basically, this episode, I gotta say, this whole, this whole story up, uh, up the, this whole story up for this episode, the episodes, uh, the episode for the story up was kind of, was kind of disappointing in a way. I wish that, you know, I wish that the, uh, I wish I, I wish I, I wish that Hugo would have put the curse mark twins and had a, a, a longer, a longer lasting fight with Team Mr. Taski. But otherwise, you know, that's the only bad thing about this, about the story, about the episode of the story arc. So basically, like, you know, I wish that Hugo would have put the curse mark twins and kicked their asses, you know, that could have been a good fight. But also, I wish that the fight between Curse Mount Mr. Toski and Curse Mount Hugo would have lasted longer and would have lasted longer and probably would have been a better fight. But, you know, I wish that fight would have lasted longer and, you know, it could have been better. But otherwise, you know, this episode was okay. This whole, this whole episode of the story was alright to me. Anyway, well, so anyway, what do you think about the episode of the story arc? <laughs> of, the, of the story arc of Volta? Was it, you know, were they good? Were they bad? Or were they just, you know, oh, oh okay. Please let me know the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, this is Michael from Screen Review, signing off. One.